News just broke that Nintendo is now claiming advertising revenue from user-created YouTube videos that feature their game title. While not blocking user videos, the game giant is choosing to put Nintendo ads around the videos. The revenue generated from these ads would not go to the video creators, but Nintendo themselves. In response to the change of policy, Nintendo released the following statement. As part of our ongoing push to ensure Nintendo content is shared across social media channels in an appropriate and safe way, we became a YouTube partner and as such, in February 2013, we registered our copyright content in the YouTube database. For most fan videos, this will not result in any changes. However, for those videos featuring Nintendo-owned content, such as images or audio of a certain length, adverts will now appear at the beginning, next to, or at the end of clips. We continually want our fans to enjoy sharing Nintendo content on YouTube, and that is why, unlike other entertainment companies, we have chosen not to block people using our intellectual property. I have no idea what Nintendo is thinking with this move. It just makes no sense at all and totally alienates a good portion of the YouTube community. And for what? Additional ad revenue? But at what cost? Let's look at the facts. First off, most of the people that create the videos that feature their products depend on the money generated from ads to live off of. If you take away their funds, most of them are going to choose not to put up such videos. And some may take past videos down in protest of this move. And considering that a certain amount of free publicity is generated from these videos, in effect Nintendo will be hurting themselves. Yes, they may earn some additional profit from videos still left up, but a large number will be removed. And that doesn't even take into account the people that purchase or draw interest into these titles after watching such videos. Any way that you look at it, the move doesn't make sense. Perhaps they saw it as a kinder way to cut down on Nintendo-related content on YouTube, but in the end, I think this move is going to hurt their reputation the most. And that is one thing that you don't want in a community as vocal as this. As always, I'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out.